Shalom Families or Ebrey, author of Making Your Enemy Your Footstool, Investor and Consultant. And I'm coming to you today with a video. I got the face mask on. Um, Fourth July, I tested positive for COVID. Um, my little one, I just want to make sure I stay, you know, keep her protected. So whenever I'm around her, I put the mask on. Um, the whole house got it. So, um, you know, we're just trying to keep her protected. But I saw a post. Oh man, saw a post. And this post, I don't want to say it made me mad, it's just, you know, sometimes you get annoyed with the thought process of the world around you. And this is why I always tell you all, it's very important to understand the origins of something, especially something that you're applying to your life. It's very important that you do. So I saw a post on the lines of it was a it was a multi post. But on the lines of basically what they were saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. If you um, if you can't say what you want to say without hurting someone's feelings, don't say anything. X, Y, Z. And that post really upset me because I hear people say this a lot. I hear people see, I'll, I'll, I'll witness or people will tell stories about other individuals that they've witnessed do something. And they'll say, you know, I didn't say anything because I had nothing nice to say. But don't you all realize, like, we have so much craziness going on in this world right now. And if y'all haven't seen it, there literally is a war on good people. There is a war on, for lack of a better word, righteousness. Now, when I say that, I mean, there's a war on just doing the right thing. So for some reason, people that don't want to have any, any accountability, they don't want to follow, they don't want to do the right thing. They've, they've bullied people who are wanting to do the right things and want the right things to happen. So people who do what they're supposed to do in their life, and I say this all the time. Majority of the world is is, is a lot of good people in this world. The majority of the people in this world are good. They want to do the right things. They want to see good things happen. They want good things to happen to people that help fall, this and that. But you have a small group who they just don't care. And they're wicked. And they're evil. And they want to cause destruction and chaos. And no small group have bullied the mass group of good people into thinking, I can't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. So we've taken the whole, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And we've misappropriated it and misapplied it to our lives. That statement was not talking about if you see somebody doing something that they're not supposed to be doing to keep your mouth shut. That's not what that was talking about. That's not what that was saying. What that was talking about was simply, hey, look, I just... Right now, I'm not in the best head space. So I'm just not going to say anything. But it had nothing to do with leaving bad things unchecked. And the more we we keep our mouths shut and quiet, the more wickedness is just going to run rampant. And the more that people who don't want to do the right thing are going to feel like they have a free pass to just run over people who want to do the right thing. And that can't go. That can't fly. That can't. Like, at some point in time, us who want to do the right thing, we can't keep turning the other cheek. I'm sorry. We can't. Now, I'm not saying you got to go out here and do all this crazy. Like, I'm not saying, but you can say what needs to be said. You can check somebody how they need to be checked. And and let them know, hey, look, that ain't going to fly. And you ain't necessarily got to be rude about it. You ain't necessarily got to tear somebody down. But telling the truth is not tearing someone down. Like, we got to get out of that mindset. Like, like just because somebody's doing something and you speak on it, that's not, like, people tell, well, I ain't got nothing nice to say to them, so I ain't going to say nothing. No, that's when you're supposed to say something. If they're not doing something right, like, you have to say something. Or they're going to continue to think that they can just do whatever they want to do 
and then eventually, as, as we can see in this world that we're in, it's, it's really spilling over into every day now. Like, we just want to be peaceful. We just want to be who we can be peacefully. And you have a small group of people who are trying to make that difficult when it does not have to be. You have a small group of people who are trying to do all of these negative things to people for no reason. Other than they just ain't got nothing good in them. But those of us who have good in us, it's okay to fight back. It's okay to... Let me let me choose a better a better phrase. It's okay to stand up for yourself. You don't have to let somebody continue to bully you. If you stand up for yourself, it doesn't make you a bad person. If you stand up for yourself, it doesn't make you you're not going to hell. Like if you stand up for yourself, you know, it's not going to it's not going to not be good for you. You have to stand up for yourself. And I learned this, and I say it all the time, conflict avo avoided is conflict multiplied. Now, some things you have to know when to choose your battles. Yes, you do. Some things you do. But way more time, we tuck our tails and run as good people than we should. We got to stop tucking our tails and running. We have to start standing up. We have to start licking wickedness in the face and standing up for to it on a grand scale. And if some of it is happening now, um, but we have to do it even more because when you when you leave these things unchecked or you only want to focus on the good, like life is not only good. Like there has to be a balance. A couple of scriptures I want to reference right now. The book of Proverbs tells us Open rebuke, I'm sorry, open love is better than, oh, no, 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 open rebuke is better than secret love. So when you're openly correcting someone who needs correction, that's better than keeping your mouth shut. Ecclesiastes talks about there being a time for everything. Time for good, time for bad, time for love, time for hate, time for peace, time for war, time to reap, time to sow, time to live, time to die. Like, that lets you know, like, it's not just here and we got this false, we, this world is trying to create this false, how can I say it, this false sense of positivity and it, it's, that, it's fake. It's fake, man. And you can't allow yourself to get sucked up in that. Like, you got to live in reality. I'm not saying be a pessimist. No. You have to be a realist. You have to have that balance between being optimistic and being a realist. And, you know, yes, you look for the good in things. However, there are times where you have to call a spade a spade. You have to. And you have a lot of people who they think they're just going to positively think their way to, to out of a situation and all you're doing is tricking yourself, tricking yourself from handling situations like we are terrible conflict. We have terrible conflict resolution skills. So instead of figuring out how to fix our conflict resolution skills, we've tricked ourselves into this universal karma. I'm going to let God handle it. X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. No. Like, y'all got to realize sometimes, you know, it's funny. Some of you all are, keep going through the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And you're like, why does this keep happening to me? And it could be with a totally different person. You could be going through something with somebody and then you meet somebody else. And that person has nothing to do with the first person. But you go through that same problem. You want to know why? Because you keep thinking karma going to handle it when you're the one that's supposed to handle it. But your but your conflict resolution resolution skills are so terrible that you don't know how to handle it. You live in you live off of this irrational fear that something crazy bad is gonna happen to you if you don't if if you have some type of conflict and it's not. Like you have to make sure that you address 
and nip certain things in the bud or you're going to keep going through the same thing over and over again. And as we can see in this world, just crazy stuff just keep popping up. And that's because those of us who want to do the right thing, for some reason, we feel like we've been censored. We can't say the right thing. We're afraid, you know, someone's going to be offended. Someone's going to X, Y, Z. You know what's crazy? Those of us that do the right thing, those of us that, that, that try to live our lives the right way and that try and be, you know, just great humans, we get made to be uncomfortable every day. We get offended every day. But for some reason, we feel like we got to spare people who not trying to spare us. The wicked try to push their wicked agenda on us. Wicked people try to do wicked things to us. And they don't care about us. But for some reason, we care about them. And I know some people going to say, you know, you got to, man, like I said, there's a time and place for everything. And you got to stop letting people do you any type of way. You got to stop letting people do just any type of thing. Like, once again, it's a, it's a time and a place. And there's a certain way to do things. Even if you may see something crazy going on in the street. And you ain't got to jump out there and be dang, you know, shaft or nothing. But you, hey. Hey, look, y'all. Let's go. Hey, let's calm this down. Hey, this day, is this worth it? Hey, come on. Now, if it start getting too, if it start getting escalated too much, and you can't, what you doing ain't working, and you can get on up out of that. It ain't for you. But sometimes you, sometimes some people just need to hear a sound, rational voice. Because a lot of people are very irrational. They just need to hear that sound, rational voice. Now, some people, they can't be changed, they can't be stopped, they can't be whatever. Don't know about your business from them people. But sometimes some people just need to hear a calm, rational voice to say, hey, look, what you're doing is totally out of line, man. Let's let's go in and go a different direction. So let's make sure that us that are trying, not trying, but are doing the right things for the most part every day, let's start standing up for ourselves, man. Like, like there has to be some type of pushback. Like, or or else they gonna, we're going to get wiped out. Man, you got to think, like, you get wiped out, your kids get wiped out, they kid, like, and then what? Then the wicked take over the world and the whole world just get destroyed. Like, we are, we are who we're waiting for. Like, we are, like, like, whatever it is, this, turn the other cheek 70 times 7 all of that this is not the time for that there was a time for that this is not it you gotta know when the time is for something this is not the time for turn the other cheek 70 times 7 it's not because it because it doesn't go away as you can see the wickedness just keeps multiplying it's not going away it's not disappearing it's not you know being resolved it's not being you know, cast away. No, it's it's bubbling up over and like at, and at what point in time or like it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late when you like want to stand up. No, the time to stand up is now before it gets too too much. So I want to tell you all heal, build and you all have a beautiful evening.